addressing the Halloween situation um, in Saudi Arabia, everyone seemed to have taken this as a big opportunity to talk about, you know, Saudi. Saudi Arabia and look at them celebrating Halloween. And there's a lot of things like, as they say, smoking guns around the situation needs to be talked about and discussed. Uh, first off, uh, the ruling on Halloween. Let's talk about that first. Everyone knows it's impermissible. Everyone knows it's haram. Everyone knows yeah, I mean, it's its origins and how it goes back to, you know, worship and shayateen and things like that. Um, so there's no... Yani, there's no khilaf in that bab. What's well, that, as far as we know, there's no khilaf. But yeah, I heard one I of these. I heard one of these individuals, mm. yes, being like, "Yeah, these Salafis, they're of two groups. You got one group that say uh, Halloween has got to do with adat. It's got oh. to do with adat, and so that's fine. And we got some Salafis that, Akhi, how that kill be, Akhi? He's just making stuff up. Akhi, I wish. I I've wish. never heard a Salafi sheikh or a Salafi individual. Yeah. Saying that Halloween yeah. is from the Adad, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I, I think I know what you're talking about. Talking about that that video, them brothers there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was wondering who who said that. I so I tuned into a bit of it, and I was just like, okay, it's hard to even listen to, Aslan. Yeah. And it's just it's ridiculous. That particular video, I, I wish am, they would I'm name going them. to. No, I I'm personally gonna watch that. It was a, it was a live event by Daniel Hakiqa, some guy called Abu Lot. Never heard of him, and some other guys. Hmm. And they just went in on Saudi. They took it as an opportunity throwing around Madkhali labels here and there, even going to the extent of saying that this whole listen and obey to the Muslim ruler, it's something new. He said the oh, Salaf were not about upon that and, and the Sahaba were not upon that like Allah so Allah much Allah. jahal. Yes, yeah, yeah. So much jahal being was being spread there that Allah even though I literally watched five or ten minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Same, same. I watched like five minutes and I just was like I but inshallah ta'ala I have never done a reaction video before <laughs> if, I, if I was going to do it <laughs> I think I, this one I just have to Because of the Not just because of the amount of shubahat That they were spreading That I've heard in those five minutes mm -hmm. But also because Some of these individuals have been Hiding their stance if you like For a very long time mm -hmm. Such that You know It's, it's kind of like a shock There's a lot of yeah. Salafi people Or people that That ascribe themselves to Salafiya Might come to them as a shock then yeah yeah i know? mean some people i would i would say like if it if it comes as a shock then i don't know if you're actually living under a rock or what because yeah. some brothers have been talking about this mess Allah for some time and he's been pretty clear on his stance with regards to khuruj and imama so he's not like on his website the muslim skeptic every other day there's some kind of there's article some type, yeah some type criticizing of critique, criticizing course, the muslim government course. yeah so let's go back into this um first off the ruling on halloween i don't think nobody differs on that and if somebody does differ on that i would love for somebody to say the name who exactly is saying this yeah that way we can be aware of yeah. you know if you're telling, telling me salafis are, are saying that it's from the eye that and it's okay to celebrate halloween i would love to know who that person is yeah, definitely. so that we can clarify yeah. um so that's no there's no any doubts in that one the second one is about the scholars speaking out against it scholars have talked about halloween in any other pagan festival for many years yeah this isn't something new yeah. and for many years they've spoken about 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 all of these issues no so if you if we understand those two principles let's get to the the meat of the issue the meat of the issue is these brothers want you, the scholars to speak out openly against the rulers yeah that's what they want yeah they don't want people to speak out against halloween they get one of them to speak out against the rulers yeah but l let's Let's clarify something here. Mm -hmm. Saudi celebrating Halloween, or the way they put it, Halloween celebrations in Riyadh or by Riyadh, yeah, right? Yeah. What are you talking about, right? Yeah. Okay, some people here in Riyadh celebrated Halloween, mm -hmm. but why are they trying to give the sort of impression that it's some kind of national holiday? Yeah, that's one thing. That's one <laughs> thing that know? I hate it. Well, lie, because it's like this is such like honestly, if it wasn't for social media, us we wouldn't even know about well, it. Well, lie, I had we no idea. We, we would not know nothing about it, and we live here. Right? I have no so idea this is a, a really small, secluded amount of individuals who they're in the wrong, and they're doing it somewhere in Riyadh. I still don't even know no, where no, it no, was. No, 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 I'll tell you what. No, I'll tell you. It's, it's part of the uh, Riyadh season Riyadh and seasons, stuff. Yeah. Right? But the point is, these people that are celebrating, mm. it's a certain faction of the society who might have studied in America, who watch American movies, who are generally speaking weak Muslims, mm -hmm. or even liberal Muslims or whatever, f by themselves. Mm -hmm. So... This is not something that is khas, particularly to Saudi Arabia. You'll find Muslims like that everywhere. Yeah. Yani, there are no Muslims in America celebrating Halloween, mm. uh, following the Kufar. Of course, of course there are. In UK, everything. Sah? So people that have been watching American movies and stuff and are affected by American culture, yes, and they think this is cool, that's why they're doing it. This hall has got pagan literals. Pagan, they might not even know that. Yeah, that's they true. They might not even know that. Yeah. So this is something that some factions of the society uh, did. Mm -hmm. But right now for you to take that event mm -hmm. and paint the picture as if right now in Saudi Arabia, 
Halloween is some kind of national holiday, then you are deceiving the people. And secondly, if you look at social media and you see the backlash mm-hmm. of other Saudis, yeah, that was yeah. way more. Yeah, that was w- had much ha- bigger presence on social media mm-hmm. if you speak Arabic mm-hmm. than those that were actually celebrating Halloween. But you now, as an English speaker, you want to paint the opposite picture, okay, as if all Saudis are fine with okay, that. Most Saudis, if you listen to these individuals, you would think that people are over here doing trick or treat. Yeah, you would think people's going yeah, knocking the door knocked on and your door. giving yeah. candy, and everyone's like participating in this type of event. <laughs> yeah. Well, like it's crazy. I don't even know where to get these costumes. I don't know where none of this stuff is being bought. I don't know what's taking place. It's not the idea here. It's not something which is normal. It's, all. it's something which even when we see, we're like, Subhanallah. Yeah. And we warn against Halloween, and we warn against the sinful, sinful actions, and we stop at that. Now, you know, they want to take it to the extra extreme, and now call for a khuruj and. You know, talk I mean, about they the always take the opportunity. They always, but truth has but to the, be said. But the funny thing is, is these guys are living back in the West. Yeah, you, you're taking now. You're taking this opportunity, right, to to go and attack the Saudi rulers. You're living in the West. Why don't you deal with the Muslims that are around your areas? Why don't you deal with celebrating these? Celebrating, I mean. exactly. Or, or if, even or sinners if, sinners or celebrating. If, or if, or if, for the sake of argument, yes, you want to now go overseas and give da'wah and affect people in other countries, sir. Huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, you got high ambitions. Great for you. <laughs> Can I ask you a question, right? Halloween has a pagan background. Mm-hmm. Huh? Mm-hmm. But these people that are wearing costumes and stuff, nobody can argue yes, that they were committing shit. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. It's just that this celebration itself, mm. its roots goes back to paganism. Of course, its origins. Okay, now how do you compare that to Muslims around the world or people describe themselves to Muslims around the world mm. that are actually committing shirk itself? Yeah. A shirk billahi sarir by... Uh, uh, doing tawaf around graves or calling upon other than Allah. Just as recent as two weeks ago, Mawlid al Nabawi, yes, mm. how much shirk was happening? SubhanAllah. Where was your video on Mawlid celebrations in Pakistan or Egypt Allah or whatever? That's a good point. That's a good point. Yani, I don't get it. Yani, why Halloween, which has pagan roots, I don't, I don't disagree. But how about those that are actually doing shirk itself? You're not addressing it. And then you want to claim, yes, you are forbidding evil and commanding with the good. <laughs> La wallah. Allah. That Allah. You are forbidding the evil, yes, for political reasons, all right, Sorry. to Sorry. to make a certain point or or to get people to um, fall in line with with your ideology, basically. Nah. And just to explain, uh, for example, the rulings connected to celebrating other than the two Eids, there was a hadith of the Prophet sallam that was narrated by Anas bin Malik radiAllahu anhu, who in this hadith was in uh, Abu Abu, Daw- uh, Abu Dawood, where the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he when he came to Medina. And they had two days in which they were relaxing and playing on. So he asked, you know, the the people of Medina, what are these two days? They said, we used to play on these two days during Jahiliyyah. The Prophet wasallam said, Allah Taala has given you something better instead of them. Yawm al-Duha, yani Eid al-Adha, wa Yawm al-Fitr, wa Eid al-Fitr. So this right here, yani just to make sure it's clear why people might ask. Some, some people might be watching like, okay, why is Halloween? If it's not clear till right now, why is Halloween not accepted? One, because it has the origin peg, uh, pagan yani, rituals connected to it. Second, because the Prophet ﷺ forbade us from celebrating any other Eid except for these two Eids. Yeah. And we talked about this in great length, and I think it was like the second or third podcast we ever did. Yeah, we and talked we, about, uh, I think it was Teacher's Day. It was Teacher's yeah. Day. Mold it was Mawlid and Nabawi, and Halloween. it was Halloween. Because yeah. <laughs> we talked about, we said uh, October got a lot of things coming up. Yeah. So let's talk about all of them. Yeah. And yeah. subhanAllah, some of them, the things in which we were talking about, for example, the uh, Shismo. The uh, what was the date? What was it? Employee worker day or whatever what was it? Yeah, teachers day. Teachers day. Teachers day. Remember, we said that that was happening amongst us. We were yeah. getting messages about yeah, it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so I mean. for people to say like now, oh, these madhhadis or whatever, they don't warn against these type of uh, events. I, mean, I didn't say I didn't <laughs> say in that same podcast that that's something they were actually celebrating at my university. It's one of those celebrations that some of the universities, even Saudi Arabia... No, no, I do. told you. I got I got messages from workers from old companies here yeah. saying, you know, happy... It's work. haram. It's haram. It's, it doesn't change the fact. Yeah. It just attains the fact. Yeah. So just going into... Like, there was a nice post from Sheikh Muhammad uh, ibn Saleh al-Uthaymeen, rahimahullah ta'ala. And he was talking about... He was asked about if you see the authorities yani, doing something sinful or authorizing something which is sinful or anything like that and i'm just going to read it in english because time is really of the essence today we don't have time for a two-hour podcast yeah. <laughs> today uh so um he says if a ruler authorizes something immoral it is a must to express disapproval of it however this disapproval should not be directed at the ruler himself rather the people must be warned against the immoral thing 
Nowadays, in some countries, immoral things are authorized by the rulers, and it is not permissible to approve of that. For example, in some Muslim countries, some of which are neighboring to us, meaning Saudi Arabia, alcohol is sold openly in the grocery stores, coffee shops, and everywhere. So, should we now say to the people, do not warn people against it due to the ruler allowing it to take place? No. Rather, it is obligatory to warn the people against this immor immorality. However, the ruler must not be criticized for authorizing it. Instead, it should be advised, meaning advised by those scholars, those people who are able behind closed doors to advise them. No. And they don't connect it now to the government, to the rulers, mm. yes? And yeah. then be like, look what the rulers are doing and X, Y, and Z. If you want to forbid the evil, mm. yeah, okay, forbid the evil and start with the evil around you. Mm. Start no. with the evil around you that you no. can see. No. And number two, start with the worst from the evil, the, the levels. Of right? course, of course. Start with the worst of them. Yani exactly. You are leaving off warning against open shirk. Yes, that was happening at Mawlid al-Nabawi. All around the Muslim world. Yes, you didn't you do a specific event on that. Sah? Yeah. But you want to do a specific event on Halloween? Yeah, well, I'm starting. Uh, it was uh, there was another statement from Sheikh Falzan. He was talking about this. Like, cause some people, they'll say like, um, you know, uh, I'm unable to reach that ruler, so instead I have to speak about it openly, directed toward that ruler. Yani, I must yani mention him and mention Saudi and mention this because I'm not able to get to him. So Sheikh, he said, um, do not spread his mistake saying I'm unable to reach him. This is from enjoining the good and forbidding the evil. This is what they'll say, right? They'll say this yeah. is from enjoining the good and forbidding evil. Yeah. He said, rather, this is evil in and of itself. Nah. This is not forbidding evil. This public reviling of the, of the ruler is evil. This corrupts society and does not rectify it. Nah. It reminds me... Um, I mean, the hadith. I mean, we mentioned the hadith last time yeah, as well. we talked about it in amirihi. No. Whoever sees from his emir, his ruler, that which he doesn't please and does not, does not allow, yeah. yeah, let him tell him privately. If the Prophet looked Prophet yeah. from his nusr, he said, if he accepts it, then great. If he doesn't accept it, you've done what's upon you. Now, what if you can't even reach him? Yeah, then that apl doesn't apply to you. Okay, it's, it feels like we've been um, talking about yeah, the Khawadish for like three weeks now. Like these issues just keep coming up, subhanAllah. And you know what I noticed? There's no, and I was talking to a brother about this. There's no mess that I know of, ever, that I've studied or called to or did translation of or refuted, whatever the case may be. I've never seen a situation that really, really cuts the grass around you and you get to get, bring them snakes out like Khuruj and the Imama. Yeah. This one is one of them issues. If I mean, you'll see your brother with a thobe, uh, a, a short beard, or a long beard, you know, um, the sunnah, like it looks apparent on him, yeah. right? However... When we start talking about these issues and also the intricates of these issues, well, it really shows you who's around you.